welcome back to Soul MCA's channel. Before we go into today's delightful dynamic duo, I just want to remind everyone that Soul MCA is not taking tutorial requests at this time. I know everyone has a song that they're dying to learn. And they may need to learn it for Sunday coming up, two Sundays down the road. I get it. I'm not taking any requests at this time. Uh, life is getting very busy for me. I'm doing some things around the clock and I'm barely getting to the tutorials, even on the original list for season three. There are people there that are still waiting and those people have been longtime supporters. So if I haven't gotten to your request, continue to be patient. I will get to them, but you have to give me time until I can catch up. I'm not taking any more requests at this time. All right. So we can go on to today's uh, topic, which is the dynamic duo, uh, a combination that is going to help you at your next gig. If you can recall when I recorded this video, I recorded it late the night and edited it late the night before the morning of a gig. Uh, and I did everything I told you all I should have done, not as well as I told you you should do in your Are You Gig Ready? Another video you should watch there if you haven't. Um, there were some things I forgot, but I did bring extras of everything I needed. When I got to the gig, it was one of those outdoor gigs where uh, a lot of artists are going to be going up and you kind of rotate all the musicians, all the singers, and we weren't going to be on till second to last. And so I had a lot of time to just hang around, talk to people, you know, check out the vibe, whatever the case is. But I wanted to practice somewhere in that time. Problem was, it was an outdoor uh, event. So there was nowhere to just plug my bass in. There wasn't just a second amp hanging around. Even though I had my amp, I couldn't really plug it anywhere uh, in there. And so I needed a way to practice. So I said, well, I know I have one of the dynamic duo, which is this magic piece right here. All right, and if you can't see that, that is the Vox headphone bass amp. If you type it in as such, that's not the official name, but if you type that into Google, it will come up. Vox bass headphone amp, V-O-X headphone bass amp. Uh, this thing is amazing. I've had it for years. Someone was very kind to give it to me or bought it for me as a gift. Uh, they saw something in me I didn't see in myself at the time, really believed in me. And I loved it because you can literally practice anywhere with this thing. It takes uh, two AAA batteries and uh, you plug it into your base as if it was an amplifier. And it gives you the option to plug in, um, plug that piece right in there into your base. It gives you the, the option to go aux in and then headphone out. So I said, okay, well, let me just go sit in my car for a little bit and, uh, you know, warm up and run through these songs a little bit with my aux in and my um <laughs> in my base the problem was i brought uh, a lovely set of headphones with me but i forgot the aux cord and i needed the aux cord for the particular uh headphones that i had and so i was like yo i'm done what am i gonna do there's nothing i can do i can't practice there's some hits i kind of wanted to make sure i was really tight on because it's just who i am uh, and i will agonize and agonize over things prior to going on the stage and then I'll agonize and agonize about them after I get off the stage and, and uh, go through my playing a million times in my head and God forbid if it's for, uh, if it's recorded I'll play it back over uh, but I needed the other thing and the good thing was I had these headphones these Bluido headphones which are the Bluido TS with the 57 millimeter driver in them and up to 40 hours of battery life uh, and what's great about these headphones is although they are wired if you plug a aux cord into them they're also bluetooth and so i only had one aux cord that day and i needed to be able to get both the uh, sound from my phone and also the sound from my bass so what i did was i just took the one aux cord i had and i plugged it into the headphones and plugged that headphone through the aux into the um vox bass amp then i bluedoed not bluedoed i bluetoothed the sound from my phone to my headphones and i was able to get the sound both through the wire and through the wireless and that was a lifesaver uh, and that is something um, i will forever love these headphones for i'm sure that other bluetooth headphones can do it too uh, and you should try it um, just make sure you're not blowing them uh, pushing them too too far 
but that combo is going to save you every time if you're waiting uh, to be next up or what used to happen to me a lot and still does from time to time too sometimes i can go to concerts where people know me um, or for those that are caribbean you may know of things called uh rallies and i'll get up and i'll play for one group and i'll go sit down and someone will say hey our bass player is not here or hey you sound really good man can you play along with us well what song are you singing and inevitably almost 100 percent of the time it's something with all these tricky hits and movements and then i'm like okay well, we don't know when they're going to call you so let's just go to the back uh, and i'll listen and i'll have these two with me uh, well, usually I'll have some kind of headphone that has wires and I'll have an extra aux cord. Uh, and I'll just go to the back. I'll learn the song right there and right down on the spot and uh, go out and do it to the best of my ability. So uh, something like this is going to come in clutch every time. And if you don't have a combination like this, you should. Uh, Vox is not the only one that makes this kind of bass amplifier. I'm not sure who else. I can vouch for this. I've had this over six years, maybe going on seven. Um, solid really solid and uh these headphones i can pretty much swear by too i do like them uh, my only thing that i don't like about them is the the after a while these little um adjustments start to fail like you see it's just kind of falling and some of these they, the parts starting to loosen up uh, i'm sure that they could be tightened a little thing here or there but get yourself a good set of headphones that you can use wirelessly as well as a backup in case you don't have enough aux cords definitely get a, a portable amplifier and you'll be set whatever gig you go to so hopefully that helps i know you all love the tutorials uh, and this video is probably not going to get a lot of views and that's okay but it's little things like this i'm telling you i try to be as practical on this channel as possible there's a lot of people out there giving out great information on how to play uh, even me great information on how to play how to play different songs but it's these little things that i've had to learn the hard way on some gigs that i wish somebody else had told me or i wish i'd known in advance uh, to save myself having to run out at a gig or not having something and not feeling prepared at a gig so whatever ways i can help other bass players i definitely try to do that i'm soul mca you all have a good one take care until next time Thank mm -hmm. you.